Will somebody please chew that boy? Samurai pick the cat. Oh yeah! Who do you call when you want some pepperoni? Samurai pick the cat. Why not? There's stamping out crime and you know that ain't baloney. There's Speedy Serviche, he's the leader of the bunch. That's right. A heck of a fighter makes a heck of a lunch. Oh. And little polyester, who's never afraid of going into battle with the bad guys in vain. A wild romantic rover. This cat gets down, down with a love hangover. Here They're so bad, they've got more fur than any turtle ever had. Stronger than old cheese. Stronger than dirt. Who's lower than low? It's a rotten yeah, shame. Yeah, yeah. He lives in little Tokyo. We've got a nasty bad bird and some nasty ninja crow. As soon as someone finds a strip, we might begin the show. Sit right back, kick up your feet, and turn the sound up high. And if you want the full effect, go eat a piece of pie. <laughs> Our story begins as Guido and Speedy race to Lucille's tea house. I'm winning! Guido, duck! Hey, that's a foul! What foul? I told you to duck your turkey! You just tried a chicken out! <laughs> you see, left this a note. Sorry, changed my mind when shopping. Oh, no! Boy! You mean we ran all the way over here for nothing? She knew we had a date today. How could she stand us up like this? She wouldn't pull a dirty trick like that. She just changed her mind and forgot to tell us. Yeah, I suppose the reason Lucille has such a clean mind is that she changes it so often. <laughs> At this point, you might be wondering, where is Lucille? Then again, you might be wondering, why am I watching this silly show? I'll answer these questions in order. First of all, Lucille is boarding the Subway Express on her way to an enjoyable afternoon with her credit cards at the shopping mall. Now, before I answer the second question, a more important question must be answered. Does this engineer look bored or worried? Do his razor-sharp instincts tell him that there's danger aboard this train? Yes, not. Excuse the interruption, but can we borrow your train? Pay attention, you idiots! Ooh. This train is now under the control of the Gorgonzola gang. Anyone attempting to interfere with us will be penalized. Those who try to escape will fail. Those who do escape will face the ultimate punishment. No, Bad Bird, not the ultimate punishment. Yes, none of you will be invited to my birthday party. Faced with such a dire threat, the passengers are hopelessly helpless. And Bad Bird carries out his wicked scheme without a hatch. No, without a hatch. I mean, without a hatch. Oh, that is to say, like clockwork. Later at Pizza Cat headquarters. Did you guys read this article about the subway train? How can something that large disappear? It's a mystery, that's for sure. And speaking of mysteries, what are we having for dinner tonight? This is no time for jokes, Speedy. Hey, if we don't make this show funny, we're in big trouble. Funny? <laughs> we'll have to look everywhere. Everywhere? You mean for the missing train? What train? Speedy, I was talking about Lucille. She's missing. Oh. No, I just thought it'd be a fun thing to say. Hmm. Mike, you saw of something. She could be on that train that disappeared. What? And so the Pizza Cats begin searching for Lucille in the deep, dark dankness of the decidedly dangerous tunnels, determined to discover her whereabouts. As Speedy's helmet light pierces the darkness, he realizes that he still doesn't know what Polly is serving for dinner. It's absolutely impossible for a whole subway train to disappear. It's got to be down here somewhere. It's got to be. On the other hand, there could be a monster or UFOs or mutants. Who knows? This is a cartoon. They can do anything they want. Our heroes have no way of knowing that the object of their search is only a few feet away. Silence! There's a lot of digging to do, and you're the ones who are going to do it. You'll work till you drop, <laughs> or else! <laughs> and now the time has come to begin. Are all my robots ready? And now the pickaxe! Ready! Hey, it's 
subway tunnel fever. Right on. Now it's your turn. Oh, no talking, no complaining, and no smoking. Meanwhile, at the gang's headquarters... Well, Jerry, what's the word from Bad Bird? Is everything going according to plan? And how's the tunnel coming along? Then almost to the royal vault. In just a few hours, we'll have access to the treasure house of the Emperor. And after we've stolen the gold and filled in the tunnel, the mystery of the missing treasure will never be solved. It's the perfect crime. <laughs> I'll be able to pay off all my credit cards and afford retail prices again. The first thing we're going to do is to buy ourselves a certain pizza parlor and get rid of these samurai pizza cats. <laughs> I suppose I'd better return this to the library. We wouldn't want it to be overdue. <laughs> Meanwhile, the exhausted passengers of the hijacked train are on their last legs. Huh? Oh, you poor thing! I'm an old man, my dear. I don't have the firm body that I used to have. I'll help you. of the subterranean depths. Mm. Hooey! Oh, what now? Now? No more Mr. Nice Guy! Bad bird, you're a bad bird! Now I'm all upset again! You meanie! Oh! 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 She's about to blow her top again! Oh! <laughs> In a nearby tunnel, Speedy has come to a sudden realization. Gee whiz, Polly, you never did tell me what kind of pizza we're having for dinner. And show me in yogurt. And then a clue to Lucille's whereabouts appears. Right! Hey, look, that's one of Lucille's missiles. Oh, oh, why so fast? Are you sure, Speedy? <laughs> I am now. Mm -hmm. Hey, you two, look at this. What is it, Polly? A secret tunnel back to the train down there. Let's look. Uh-oh. How about a little later? It's a tense moment for the samurai pizza cats. Will our heroes be able to outrun the deadly missile? Outrun a missile? Come on, get real, will ya? It looks like our heroes are in big trouble. <laughs> We're just fine. I think. <laughs> now that we've eaten our dinner and gotten our strength back, I think it's time for us to go and rescue Lucille. We'll teach Bad Bird and his bullies what happens when you mess with the samurai pizza. But that ain't all. Samurai pizza cats. They're ready to fight. When you need them, just call. They know how to stop crime. Just do what they say. If you don't want a bad time, stay out of their way. <laughs> oh, I love those cats. Samurai pizza cats. The heroes who always wear fur. <laughs> of the smoke smudge subway tunnel, you can bet that Bad Bird is a bit perturbed. Yuck! 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 Want a knuckle sandwich? It 
can see to everyone else, too. Hey, boss! Look at that! Huh? There's some kind of weird wall over there. Aha! That's it! <laughs> the secret entryway to the vault. Huh? Watch this! Mine! It's all mine! <laughs> This bad bird, it is kind of dark down here. You fool! The treasure map shows there's gold hidden here, not fish! Huh? Bad bird has just realized that the gang's perfect crime has been a total waste of time. The big cheese had been informed that within the royal library was an ancient map showing the location of the emperor's secret vault containing a fortune in gold. One word of the map's instructions, however, was missing. And Bad Bird now knows precisely what that word was. Now I understand. The instructions didn't say the Emperor's vault was filled with gold, but with gold fish. What? How should I know? Ask the narrator. The fish-filled vault is the legacy of the legendary shogun Tokugawa Tunabred, who ate nothing but seafood, and whose favorite dish was freshly caught fish. In fact, he was so obsessed with his desire for these finny denizens of the deep that he issued a royal decree which forbade anyone other than himself to eat even one morsel of his highness's favorite food. His subjects' bitter complaints only made things worse. Catching fish without a royal license was forbidden, and anyone found keeping one as a pet was severely punished. The shogun's sorrowful serfs were forced to free there, finny friends, or suffer the fate of facing the fatal fury of the fish fancying tyrant. Uh, tyrant! No one was safe from the fish police, and soon all the fish in the kingdom were locked away in Tuna Breath's water-filled vault. But then on a fishing trip, Tuna Breath fell overboard and was eaten by a giant grouper, and the vault was sealed up and forgotten. Until today. Terrific! What am I supposed to do now? I'll tell you precisely what you should do, you big dummy! Go away and leave us alone! Forget it! There's got to be something valuable in there somewhere, and you'll dig till you find it, understand? <laughs> Give up, Brad Bird, or I'll pluck you cleaner than a Thanksgiving turkey and use your feathers for pillow stuffing! Oh, yeah? We'll just have to see about that! Guido carries his favorite weapon, the Samurai Sunspot Umbrella! It also comes in handy when it rains! Holly prefers to use Cat for Passion Power! Because the passionate power of love will win out over evil every time! Love ya. Speedy the Sword Master. The magical Ginsu sword will cut through anything. And it's a terrific leather opener. These are three of the heroic crime fighters who call themselves... Samurai Pizza Cats. Oh, I knew you would come eventually. I mean, I knew you'd be late, but not this late. That silly woman's driving me nuts. Oh. <gasps> hey, I take it back. I by the explosion race upwards. Is little Tokyo in danger? No fear! It was almost finished! I won't forget this, pizza cats! We're out of here! You robots take an escape tunnel! Just look at those crazy robots go! Can you dig it? Oh, oh brother! Lucille, are you all right? Yes, Speedy, but those meanies closed the tunnel behind them. We're trapped. We'd better get help. Right. I'll send in the alarm right away. Uh-oh, that's trouble. I better call the Alzma and on the double. Oh, my goodness. Lucille blew her top again and destroyed the subway tunnel. If the roof caves in, they'll be crushed like ants. You've got to move faster. They don't stand a chance. I'll get him out of there. I'm on my way. Folks, well, we've got an emergency here, so just for a second, cover your ears. Fire! Meowsma's one bad cat. Bad for the bad guys, that is. With his shoulder drills and elbow saws, his specialty is boldly going when no cat has gone before. At least, not the way Meowsma gets there. Hey, what's that sound? Oh, Meowsma's on his way! All right! All right, just follow me, everybody. I'll get you out of here. Thank goodness! Oh. Ah. Meanwhile, Bad Bird and 
is gang are still trying to dig their way to the surface. Unfortunately, the robots have one major flaw. They have no sense of direction. This is bad news for Bad Bird, who's too tired and thirsty to notice that he's right back where he started. The good news is, he won't be thirsty much longer. <laughs> Who'd you expect, your cousin from Cleveland? Ninjas, don't just stand there! Get the robots to come! of the big cheese. Goldfish? If it weren't a library book, I'd rip it into pieces. I am so upset. I might get to it anyway. I hate those cats, and I'll get rid of them if it's the last thing I ever do. Here we go again. Now, <laughs> well, that's what I call a real lousy day. But you know what they say, that showbiz. During her terrible ordeal, Lucille has made new friends. Your place and mine. And so ends another day of crime fighting, crow bashing, robot wrecking, and causing large rodents to self-destruct. How about a goldfish and sausage pizza for dinner? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the Samurai Pizza Cat Fan Club Oath. The Pizza Caster Samurai. And I'd like to note... Their antics take your breath away. Like fur balls in your throat. We kittens are a special breed. We never call a retreat. Whenever Big Cheese knocks us down... We run upon our feet. So hail to thee, oh pizza cat. Please ring your little bell. Although you may be pen and ink, we know you'll fight like... Pizza Cat! If you like the show, it's the best that we could do. Samurai Pizza Cat. If you could do better, then we'd leave it up to you. Just a reminder, you might like to know, the cats will be back for another big show. 